Mm, look at the hermit looking down at the snake. The hermit is looking down at the snake. He's shining the light on the snake. <gasps> mm, that could be very interesting. Hey, what's going on? Happy Sunday, Pisces Aries. That's right, Pisces Aries Cusp. It's your turn for your reading today. Hope you're all doing well, enjoying yourself today. Divine Squad, my little subscribers, thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. Noobs, you know, you're a newbie, you're brand new to this channel. Hit that like button and subscribe. Become part of this divine family and sit back, relax. Let's get into your reading. Okay, I'm going to shuffle these up here a little bit. I'm going to see what's going on with yourselves right now. Okay. Uh, I'm using my Gilded Tarot Royale deck. It's fantastic. I absolutely love the illustrations of this deck. I have many other ones, but this seems to be uh, my favorites, though I don't choose favorites. <laughs> here we are, Oxymoron. Right. Picky cards. Okay, here comes your first one. Oh, page of Schwantz. Page of Wands, huh? Interesting. Yeah, well, it looks like someone's coming in with some passion, right? They want to bring this passion to you. Or this is you wanting to bring it to someone else. Right? Okay. So, noobs, real quick. I ain't like anybody else you've ever known in your entire life or ever will. Okay? I read very differently, okay? I use the definitions of these cards. I use my intuition. I also use numerology. So, just deal with it, okay? <laughs> Let's go. Here's your second card that you picked. Oh, Knight of Pentacles. So it looks like someone's coming in uh, painfully slow. Right? Painfully slow to want to bring something to you. Maybe tell you something, give you something. It's definitely passion related, okay? Interesting. So, Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady. Taking action towards stability. Hey, these cards are not being cooperative. Okay. So, the energies could be reversed. And the roles could be switched, okay? So this is either you or them. Take that how it fits, because if it ships, it will fit, okay? <laughs> Let's get to the first card of your story. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Eight of Swords. Hmm. Overthinking this? I think so. A tiny bit. Trapped in your mind. Or you're not seeing something. Because this person is wearing a blindfold stuck in their head. Right? Mm, kind of bound to. Look at the chains wrapped around the hands. Right? Bound to your own thoughts. Mm-hmm. Ace of Cups, yeah, you're overthinking this. I mean, this is, Ace of Cups is a brand new start in love, right? A romantic opportunity. It's like you're wondering when the hell this is going to happen. Because it's slow and steady with this person coming in with this wand. 
wanting to give you some passion even though it's a page it's small it's immature it's not full-blown you know what I mean so let's dissect this further yeah a lot of symbolism in that card right there my friends I'll tell you that you got the moon phases you got the eye you got all the koi and you got that big old chalice dripping with love mm-hmm I see that maybe you're watching the moon cycles hmm or someone's watching the moon cycles trying to plan this exactly when to make this move this is what I feel we're just into Pisces new moon or full moon I should say let's see what happens and get it there's fish fish in there koi fish Pisces is represented by the fish so you could be thinking that this is going to happen during this moon cycle mm-hmm or they're trying to make it happen during this moon cycle. Let's keep going. Ah, oh, Ace of Wands. Oh my God, two aces back to back. It's very strong energy, my friends. Super strong. Okay, Ace of Wands is a brand new passionate beginning. Romantic. Also, you have the Ace of Cups. That's love, right? Boom! Two opportunities. So, this is creative. This, I mean, this could be an endeavor, right? This could be a, a passion project or something like that, but... With these two together, it's not only love, but it's also passion. Hmm. Hello. Professional car droppers in the house. There's your fool card. A leap of faith, a new journey. Being brave. Getting ready to jump off the cliff. So I definitely feel that this person is waiting and buying their time to come in. This is more of all their energy, right? This is all their energy. They're overthinking this and when they should take the right time to move in for this new journey, this new romantic, passionate beginning, this new start. Yeah, very interesting here. Isn't this funny? We're speaking of Pisces, right? Look at the fool. In his right hand, see all the zodiac? In the right hand, he's holding Pisces. Mmm. Koi fish, Pisces. Moon cycle we're in now is Pisces. Very interesting. Okay. Let's keep going. Let me sip my water here. I thought I put ice in this. Ah. Lemon lime water. Mmm, that's just so delish. And you know what's also funny? <laughs> what is this reading now? Pisces Aries. Mmm, something with Pisces here. Here's the Wheel of Fortune. Boom, in your face. Ooh, in your face, huh? More of the moon. Yeah. This is, uh... This looks like it's fated to happen for you, right? Ooh. Yeah, I'm seeing Pisces all over the place. Pisces is the bottom of this cart. Well, not the cart, but at the bottom of the zodiac right there. Pisces right there. So far, that's one Pisces, two Pisces, three Pisces, four Pisces because of the moon cycle. Interesting. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Mmm. Seven of Swords. That could be a wish and a hope. They're wishing and hoping that this is 
the leap of faith towards destiny of this romantic love opportunity that they are trying to plan during this moon cycle. I mean, that's very obvious because they have been taking their time bringing this to you. Or you bringing it to them. Hermit. Okay, so analyzing the situation. Still trapped in their heads. Shining the light on something. But ooh, what's this in the bottom? Mm, look at the hermit. Looking down at the snake. Hermit is looking down at the snake. He's shining the light on the snake. <gasps> mm, that could be very interesting. Now, with the Seven of Swords, that could be lying, cheating, stealing, trying to get away with something, trying to, trying to take, trying to take away your fate and destiny. A snake. Let's keep going. What does that mean? Uh, it means your trust and your intuition that this person only wants one thing, right? Though they they are overthinking a situation to come in and present this romantic, passionate love offer for a new beginning, right? That they are now somehow trying to take away your destiny, your fate. And now your energy comes in with the hermit and the high priestess you're analyzing the situation trusting your intuition because that light is being shown on the high priestess you're shining the light on your intuition meaning you're going within you're analyzing the light the knowledge the information the illumination about this person possibly being a snake trying to take your destiny from you stop you from Maybe who you really are supposed to be with. Wow. All right, let's keep going. Two of Wands. The light is being shown. See the shining light coming down on one wand, illuminating it. So with the hermit and the light being shine on your intuition it's like the answer that you know is within inside of you the choice that you have to make is already illuminated but within you lover's card wow Wow. Well now, isn't that special? Like I was saying, this person's coming in as a false person, trying to make you think that, you know, you're going to have a brand new love, romantic, passionate beginning and take this new journey with them. But all they're really trying to do is take away your fate, your destiny. They're trying to intervene on what is supposed to be for you. And so now that you're shining the light on this snake, trusting your intuition, that you have a choice between two lovers. And one is of the light and one is of the dark. Because that two of wands, the light is shining down on one wand and the other one is kind of dark. So I think the dark here is represented with this page of wands. Mm. Let's keep going. One of them is your real divine counterpart that you're supposed to take a journey with. And maybe this person has been uh, trying to plot and plan to intervene on this journey that you're about to embark on. Okay. Wow, this is juicy. Let's keep going. 
Eight of Pentacles. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, this is going to be a hard decision. It's going to be hard work to, to, to like discern who's who. Because your other person has not shown up on the board yet, though even though the lover's card is here with the, the two of wands representing a, a choice of two. Wow. Okay. Let's get to the last card of your story and then we'll get to your outcome. But do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you, my friends. There it is. Queen of wands. Boom. There's the other person. <gasps> Wow, so now you have a page of wands and a queen of wands. That is the two of wands. That is the choice between the two. <sighs> so now the queen of wands is the person that is willing to put in this hard work for this divine relationship as the lovers so suggests. The Queen of Wands is very creative. She's also cunning and very, can be a little dark, but very attractive, right? Very passionate. Ooh, this is getting juicier, okay? All right, let's keep going. Here comes your outcome. Hey, 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 hey. I've been getting better at not dropping the cards, but you know, when they drop, it's obviously meaning something for me to bring to your attention. So, here comes your first card of your outcome. Whammy! <laughs> Ten of Swords. <gasps> okay. It's not betrayals, it's not backstab, it's not uh, anything but the ending of that. The ending of that um because tens represent endings and completions swords is your mind and your communication so the ten of swords is underneath the page of wands so that is the betrayer that is the backstabber that is the one that has been trying to take away your destiny with the queen of wands who obviously wants to put in the hard work for this relationship and this is why it's hard for you to make this choice because you have to you're not seeing it because they're putting on a good mask and so now you have to use your intuition and go within to really shine that light on the snake mm. let's keep going So, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. This person was only after your money, my friends. Look at the Queen of Pentacles. She's looking at the finance, looking at this giant pentacle, right? This is the burdens, betrayals, backstabs, deceits, which kind of ends that cycle with this page of wands that come in very slow and steady, methodical, trying to plan out when to come in and be a fool and say let's take this journey when they're really only trying to intercede on your own destiny of who you're really supposed to be with wow so my friends trust your intuition shine that light within and the answers are there because the queen of wands is waiting to put in the hard work for you as your true divine counterpart mm has been your reading my friends you better hit that like button and subscribe if you know what's good for you you know what i'm saying also tell your friends and your neighbors tell everybody at the grocery store tell people at the subway all about my channel thanks for subscribing if you have if you haven't what are you waiting for binge my playlist as well check out my other videos enjoy your sunday my friends we'll see you again